OK, to calculate your network, go to the AutoNet menu and select Calculations. This will open the Calculations program, so we will leave the CAD program briefly. In the Calculations program, then go to Menu Item File and then go to Update from Drawing. Make sure that you saved your model in the CAD program. By doing this, the piping and sprinkler data from the CAD program will be transferred to the Calculations program. From the Project Data menu item, go to Network to define your network parameters. Here you can define the building type, the pipe type, hazard classification and the required design standards. Uh, so here we are defining the hazard type and the calculation method includes all of the standards. So we've got um, uh, European standards, Australian standards, British standards, NFPA standards and global standards to choose from. So a variety of standards to choose from. Then we go to Windows and Calculation Sheet. Note that all the parameters from the CAD program have been imported automatically into the spreadsheet. If you're happy with the results, you can accept them as they are. If not, you can play with the parameters to optimize your network. So here are some of the results. Um, the area of coverage, the density, the flow rate, the peak capacity, pipe size, the velocity in the pipes. Here we're clicking onto the type of fittings, bends, etc. So friction losses from bends, you can change those if you're not happy with them from the program. Finally, we can do a print preview and uh, we can view the results and uh, we can also export uh, a report in Word format or PDF format, a report which is fully customizable. So uh, this concludes uh, step four. Thank you.